What's up, YouTube? Asking K Gaming here, bringing you some Ubers battles on Pokemon Showdown. Now, I wanted to do this on Wi-Fi, but I just couldn't uh, gen a team fast enough for this because I don't actually have all of the Pokemon uh, that are on this team um, in Auras yet, just because like um, I don't have Xerneas. I actually don't have Xerneas in any game because I have Pokemon Y, so I have uh, Eveltal. But um, so I, I really wanted to bring you guys just because I've been really interested in playing some Ubers lately. I've been uh, a lot of the I. I've been streaming on Twitch some uh, random battles, and I've been getting some Ubers Pokemon. And I realized how much fun it is to play Ubers. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that today. We're gonna, um, you know, like I said, I I, I wanted to do this on um, Wi-Fi, but I, I unfortunately wasn't able to. So I'm sorry if you guys you know don't enjoy Pokemon Showdown, but it is just an easy way for me to bring you guys battles, which you know is the ultimate goal of. Uh, you know, this channel is just to give you guys battles and give you guys a good time. So we see that he's a pretty solid team here. Um, he could have Mega Lucaria or Mega Kangaskhan, although honestly, it's going to be Mega Kangaskhan because why would you bring regular Kangaskhan Ubers? Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to lead Zekrom because we do have Volt Switch on him. He is a physical choice band Zekrom, but um, uh, Volt Switch will allow us to get in and out of there. Um, hmm. He's going to go for the fake out. And we don't really have an answer for that other than Slowbro just taking it. So I think we're going to Volt Switch out into Slowbro. He's going to go straight for the Earthquake. Okay. Okay. He took out our Zekrom. I didn't think he was going to be faster than us. 328. What is Zekrom max out at? 279. I guess I should have seen that. Should have seen that. Uh, we're going to go out to Blaziken here. He does have a fighting immunity in um, Aegislash. So I kind of just want to go for the Flare Blitz because I think he's going to predict the um, the uh, high jump kick. So I'm actually going to go for knockoff, predicting the switch. He does not switch. That's unfortunate. He's going to go straight for the Earthquake. We're going to lose Blaziken here too. Uh, that was a big over prediction on my part. And we just lost two very key members to our team, especially against this this team. I mean, Zekrom was kind of our answer to uh, uh, Kyogre. but. Um, we're just going to go out to Slowbro. He has our physical wall, and uh, we can get a Scald off and hopefully get a burn uh, to reduce some of this damage that he's dealing. So we're going to go ahead and Scald. He has the Thunderbolt, too. Okay. And we get the we get paralyzed. That's That sucks. Can we get a burn? Of course not. He is going to get the uh, para on the Thunderbolt, but we're not going to get a burn on the Scald. Even though I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt only has like a 10% chance to paralyze, whereas Scald has like a 30% chance to burn. Um, and we're still not going to pick up the knockout, and he's still not going to get a burn. He's, uh... We're going to switch out into Groudon. We're going to Primal Evolve, or Primal Reversion, whatever you want to... Alright, um, I don't think he has anything for me, honestly. Can I see Groudon's stats, please? Showdown, you... Oh my god, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can take whatever he is going to dish out, so I think we're going to Swords Dance here. Mm, no, because he's just going to switch out into Kyogre. Do I want to double out into Venusaur? Do I want to do that? Well, let's just go for the Precipice Blades. He doesn't have any immunities to that. And if he switches out into Kyogre, we're going out into Venusaur. Venusaur is our Mega. He outspeeds us. He gets this with the Double Earthquake. And that is a lot of damage considering we are... We're, we're ground. We're ground type. And we're max physical defense. 356 defense. That's nothing to laugh at. Uh, we do see the Kyogre now. Um, this thing is a threat. We're going to go out into Xerneas because we actually have a Grass Knot on Xerneas. We're going to go straight for the Water Spell. And that's going to knock us out. Cool. All right, we're going out to Venusaur. Um, we are going to Mega Evolve, and we're just going to click Giga Drain. Man. Man, oh man. This is not looking good, guys. I mean, we're not done yet, because honestly, Groudon kind of puts in a lot of work. He's going to go out to Greninja, so Greninja's about to catch a, a, a Giga Drain, and that knocks out the Greninja. That's fine. I guess his switch here is Lucario. Fire Punch Lucario. Fire Punch Lucario. 
So we're switching out to Slowbro. Uh, he could predict that and go for a Thunder Punch if he has it, but honestly, he goes straight for the Extreme Speed. We eat that up. We're, we're max physical defense. Uh, and we're just going to go Scald here. We could go Slack off, but honestly, um, I'm kind of afraid that this thing has... He's going to go out into Raikou. We could have Slacked off, but um, we're going to get a Scald off. Can we get... We still cannot catch the burn. We still cannot catch the burn. Now, I do think he might have HP Ice and predict the Groudon switch. So we're going to switch out to Venusaur because if he has HP Ice, Thick Fat will reduce the damage. And if he goes for Thunderbolt, we still uh, resist that. So uh, Venusaur is our best bet here. And we can fire off um, a Sludge Bomb. We can't. We can't safely fire off a Sludge Bomb because he's got two... He goes straight for the Thunderbolt, so Groudon would have been safe switch, and we could have gone for a Precipice Blade, but honestly, I think he outspeeds us. He outspeeds us. Um, and he probably has HP Ice, to be honest. Uh, we're going to sub up here, actually. We can freely sub. He's got extra sensory. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get a sub up. Oh, we are. We are. We are. Awesome. Okay. Um, and we're just going to Giga Drain here. Sorry, guys. My phone went off, and I was just reading the message. Uh, we're going to get Giga Drain off. Let's see how much this does. That is a decent amount. We're going to get a decent amount of health back. Um, unfortunately, we cannot stay in here. So we're just going to switch out to Slowbro. He goes for the extra sensory. Um, kind of want to predict, predict the Thunderbolt and go out into Groudon. So I think that's what we're going to do. And we might actually lose Groudon here to like an HP Ice or something. Uh, Thunder. Okay. Dang, he landed that thunder. Like, if we weren't immune, he, he would have landed that. Alright, we're gonna go straight for the Precipice Blade. Um, if he's just on the Kyogre, that's fine. He's gonna take a decent amount of damage. Uh, the rain will reduce that, that damage. So, let's see if we can land this. We can, and it does over half. That's doing 58%. Alright, let's see. Uh, he had 306. We, 216. Okay, so we do not. Oh, we're gonna go out to Slowbro. This is gonna go for the Water Spout. Or the Scald, actually. Alright. Um, we're gonna go for a Shadow Ball. We're gonna go for a Shadow Ball. If he switches out into uh, Raikou, Origin Pulse, he misses the Origin Pulse. And that's not doing anything. We couldn't get the special defense drop, which would have been nice. Um, we're just gonna go for Shadow Ball again. Origin Pulse, that lands, and that does a lot of damage. Can we get the special defense drop? Of course not. Why would we get that? Alright, um,. You maxed out at 306 speed. Venusaur does not. Have, our team is so slow. Even our fast mons are like way slower than them. Oh man, I definitely did not think that through. I didn't think Ubers were so fast. I was like Xerneas should be fast as hell, but no, guess not. All right, uh, we're just gonna go for Shadow Ball again. Origin Pulse takes us out. Okay. Uh, I guess Venusaur. Uh, let's just click Giga Drain. We're Scarf Mega Venusaur, guys. We are Scarf Mega Venusaur. I hacked the I hacked Showdown, and I'm Scarf Venusaur. He's gonna switch on to Lucario. I guess he was predicting the uh, Sludge Bomb, and we're actually gonna go out to Groudon, uh, predicting the Extreme Speed or the Fire Punch. Um, extreme speed, we eat that up. Um, we're just gonna go Precipice Blade. Honestly, nothing on his team now wants to take a Precipice Blade. If we can land it, we can take out the Kyogre, we can take out the Lucario, we can take out the uh, Raikou, we can take out the Aegislash, we can take out something with this attack if we land it. We land it, and the Aegislash is down. The Aegislash is down. Now, unfortunately, uh, he now gets a free switch into Kyogre. Which uh, puts a lot of work into the rest of my team. Uh, Venusaur might actually drop to this Origin Pulse. I'm 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 feeling that he's gonna drop. He goes with the Scald. He's not gonna burn. Um, if this thing isn't max attack, if this thing doesn't have speed investment or uh, max attack, if this thing doesn't have speed investment, we could outspeed him. He goes for the Scald, picks up the knockout. That's fine. It's not fine, but you know. It is what it is. Alright, we're just going for a Precipice Blade. Can we outspeed you, please? You switch out. Why do you switch out? Why did you switch out? Why did you switch out? What are you doing? You're letting your team drop. Like, honestly... I might... I, <laughs> we're just going to go for a Precipice Blade again. He's going to go for Scaldi. Outspeeds us. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so that's GG to that guy. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, GG. Yep. 
Alright, uh, so that's one battle down. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one in, see if we can get three in for this video. That would be nice, that would be really cool. That would be swell. Alright, so we see the Mew, the Dialga, Kyogre, Darkrai, Blaziken, and Greninja. So Blaziken's probably his Mega. He doesn't have the Primal Kyogre, that sucks. Um, what's he gonna lead with? He's probably gonna lead Mew, honestly, because Mew can set up Stealth Rocks. And he's got U-Turn. So with that in mind, I kind of want to lead Blaziken and just go straight for a knockoff from the beginning. He is going to lead Mew, okay. And we are Choice Scarf, so this knockoff is going to do a lot. And we are Max Attack Adamant. Can we actually pick up the knockout here? Nope. But it does, it does a lot. And we knocked off his Focus Sash. He sets up a nasty plot. That's bold. That's bold. Because now we're even faster. And honestly, the only thing that doesn't want to take a knock Nothing on his team wants to take a knockoff. But the only thing that can eat it up is Darkrai. Don't ask me why I choice Scarf Blaze again with Speed Boost. Don't ask me. Greninja. Okay. We switch out into... Uh... Well, crap. Greninja. Do I need Blaziken anymore? High jump kick would be nice for Darkrai, but honestly, Zarnius kind of puts in work against Darkrai. He resists that, that's fine. We knocked off his leftovers. Surf. That does not pick up the knockout. Wow, okay. He forfeited. Alright, so we can get in a third battle here. Uh, this is probably going to be the last battle though, just because uh, I have stuff to do. Okay, so we see the potential Mega Mewtwo. We also see the potential Mega Heracross. Uh, it'd be weird for him to bring uh, regular Heracross, especially to Ubers, but I mean, it is what, you know, it, he could. There's nothing to say he can't. Um, I do see an issue with Darkrai. We do have, we have a pretty, pretty decent chance of it. We're going to lead Zekrom. Uh, Elite Zarkrai, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're actually just... Nah, nah, we're gonna switch out. We're gonna Volt Switch. Dark Void, that's fine. Um... Alright, we're gonna switch into Blaze again. And we're gonna go for the High Jump Kick. We're just gonna go straight for it. He has nothing that's immune to it, so nothing wants to take it, really. As long as we land it, we should be good. He sets up a nasty plot, but that's fine. We're choice scarf, so we will outspeed. Uh, because he's not scarfed, so. High jump kick, and that picks up the knockout, so that dark cry is down from the beginning, from the get-go. From the get-go. We are locked into high jump kick, but honestly, like, we're gonna outspeed everything, and nothing really wants to take a high jump kick. Like, um, uh, Xerneas is resisted to it. Mewtwo resists it. I think it's neutral to hair across. He might actually, I think he resists it. But honestly, like, it's still a high jump kick. And our worst comes for you to switch out. Sends out Kyogre. Uh, ooh, ew, ooh, ew, ah, uh, uh, disgusting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch out to Zekrom here. Uh, I don't think he can really t Oh, he's probably got Ice Beam. Whatever. Whatever. We lose Zekrom. Zekrom, we lose Zekrom. Uh, we're gonna try to burn some turns of sleep here. We're just gonna keep spamming Fusion Bolt. Hopefully we wake up. Hopefully we wake up. It would be nice for us to wake up. We woke up and we land the fusion bolt, and that knocks out the Kyogre. Ooh. Dirty, dirty Zekrom. Dirty, dirty Zekrom. Okay, so we do see the primal ground on. That's fine. Um, let's go out into... Let's go into Xerneas. The reason we're going on to Xerneas is because we do have Grass Knot. Precipice Blade, that does a decent amount, but honestly, we're gonna outspeed, and I want to go for Geomancy, but I don't want to risk the crit, and I just want to go Grass Knot. That does over half. He misses the Precipice Blade, so we could have gone for uh, Geomancy, but I just didn't want to risk the crit, uh, and now we force him into a position where he either has to let Groudon drop or switch out. Uh, he's gonna let Groudon drop, so that's fine. We're already 6-3 up. Uh, I guess he switches down to Mewtwo here, yeah. He's probably got some type of poison move. 
Um, yeah, this Mewtwo puts in work. Um, let's go ahead and switch out into Zekrom. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Psychic. Ooh, that is a lot. Um, he could be Choice Scarf, but honestly, he outspeeds everything on my team no matter what. Um, he outspeeds everything. We're just gonna go for the Fusion Bolt. I don't want to go for Dragon Claw just because he does still have that Xerneas sitting in the back. Um, he's gonna knock us out with a Psychic. That's fine. Um, we could go. In, we're gonna go into Blaziken here, actually. Oh, if he's Choice Scarf, he's got us. If he's Choice Scarf, he's got us. All right, we don't need Slowbro. We don't need Slowbro. He's gonna determine whether or not this Mewtwo is Choice Scarf. Because if he goes for Psychic, he's Choice Scarf. And if he switches out, he's probably scarfed. Cause honestly, okay, he's 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 scarfed. He's scarfed. So we can go for Calm Minds, actually. We can just set up. No, because then the Heracross comes in and Mega Horns us. We're just gonna keep clicking keep clicking Shadow Shadow Ball until this Mewtwo drops, because he's not touching us. He is doing what, 22%? Yeah, we'll win this. We're doing 40. Which I'm actually surprised about. I guess Mewtwo's not really bulky. But we don't really have any we don't have any special attack investment. So I'm actually really surprised about that. I'm surprised that um, we're doing so much to him. I mean he has to switch out here. He has to, because uh, he he loses this. He loses this battle. I guess he doesn't want Heracross to take a Shadow Ball or risk the scald and uh, get a burn. But he has to switch out. Like, that's his only play. Oh, excuse me, guys. I am tired. I am sleepy. Mm. Finals week is slowly killing me. And I'm recording. Priorities, guys. Priorities. Sometimes you just need to not worry about things. Life lessons with Spencer. Sometimes you just need to not worry about things. Sometimes it's best to just not worry. So, I went to McDonald's the other day and I got a Happy Meal for the first time since I was a little kid just because I wanted the Pokemon toys. And I got I got Primal Groudon and I'm really excited about that. It doesn't really do much. Uh, none of the toys really do much. But, this is actually pretty cool. I like it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I like it though. I think it's cool. And it, it stands. Like it, it, it stands. So I just have a little, just have a little grout on my deck, on my desk now. All right, guy. All right, we're turn, we're start, we're starting the timer. I thought the timer was already started. It has been entirely too long of just sitting here. Dun 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 now you guys get to sit here and listen to me sing. That's fun. Come on, my man. Come on, Alex Cavado. Oh man, come on. You have two minutes left. Why two minutes? Why is the timer on Showdown so long? Like honestly, it's it's too long. Like the timer in game is only a minute and a half, ninety seconds, and that's too long. Sometimes, sometimes it's not long enough. But it only needs to be longer when I need it to be longer. For other people, it needs to be shorter. That's how the world works. He has less than ninety seconds. Dun 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 dun. dun. Come on, man! I want to finish this battle. I want to find out A if you're scarfed for real dough, and B if I can actually beat you. He's got 60 seconds, guys. 60 seconds. Sorry, this is boring. First battle we lost by a lot. Not by a lot. We brought it back. We brought it back. Second battle he forfeited very early, actually. This was a good battle. This was a good battle for us. And then this happens. People, if you're playing Showdown, don't leave the battle. 
Life Lessons with Spencer. If you're playing Showdown, be sure you have time to play Showdown. Don't start playing Showdown if you don't have time to play Showdown. 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 20 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's game. Alright. Well, we won that one, boys and girls. Alright, well, that's going to be it for uh, this video, actually, this episode. Um, I do want this to continue to be a thing. Um, it's almost the end of uh, the semester of school for me. I have two more days, and then uh, a couple days where I'm not going to be here. But um, we have two more days, and then uh, it starts uh, winter break for us. So when I go home, I will be on a better computer. Not better computer. Uh, I have a Mac, and uh, I, I love it. Um, but it, it's not good for uh, for streaming, and it's also uh, my school's Wi-Fi is kind of booty. Um, so when I get home, I am going to start streaming on Twitch more, and I'll probably just stream this stuff as opposed to um, recording it and putting it up on YouTube, because um, I don't like watching Showdown Battles on YouTube. Um, I know you guys probably don't. They don't really get that many views, uh, especially compared to the Wi-Fi battles, so... I'll definitely just stream this and I can battle you guys. I'll do some random battles because that's fun. Oh, excuse me. I'm so burpy. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll leave the Twitch link in the description down below. Um, and that, that should be starting within a couple of days, a week maybe. Uh, and that should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about that. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for checking out the video and encourage you guys to check out the channel if you haven't already. But I'm going to get up out of here, guys. And I will see you guys next time.